a rather a very difficult video. I, I did video recorded one and it was good, but it's more complicated than what I initially believed it would be. United States of America now officially commenced war with China. American Green Barrett, which kept its unofficial presence on Kidman Island since 2012, now declare itself as official on Chinese mainland located 130 kilometers from Taiwan. Yes, indeed. And this year, this is a president of a Republic of Thailand. It says right there also of China. It actually says of China, but really. Uh, Ivan. Thai. Ivan from Taiwan. Okay. Will you guys see this here? Me too. This is a mainland of Taiwan and the mainland of China. The problem is that this browser is not going to provide us with what I want from one. So we're going to open this in the browser. I will adjust myself to the Google. Yes, sir. All right, it's going to take him a little time, but eventually we will get there. Or maybe not. All right. There you go. Taiwan. The map. I did click on it. Okay, so you see where it says Fujian, Fujian and Taiwan, the difference in kilometers is 130. The Chinese mainland, the Taiwan mainland. Okay, the problem here in this case, and what I want to make sure is to save basically to save lives and transaction which in many ways is totally indifferent from the one that took place in gaza in between the israel and palestinian people i should say non-existing no longer existing palestinian state and the new Israel. Uh, I see this situation as totally almost identical. It goes on the same concept, the same, almost identical, the same, the same thing. And in this case, I will go ahead and touch this issue here, which is also known as Thailand. Already on a Chinese mainland, there is an island. There are two islands. This year, that's called Kinmen Islands, and they do belong to Taiwan. Uh, in a way, confusing. It says here, President of Republic of China, Chai, and then I don't know how to pronounce that, Chai Kingwen, something like that. Hey, <laughs> hey, I think I pronounced it good. Uh, this lady was involved in this case for, uh, if I would be over 100, I would say over 100 years, but she was involved in this very, very, very too long, way too long. I'm not going to say how long, but way too long, and really, really, really nothing good came out of her. Uh, it was just more and more and more knife in the back is what at Taiwan was largely used for in this case. Um, I did really good videos, but I just want to close these videos. Uh, video, I did a good video and they want to 
finish this video properly. I'm going to talk about this here. Yeah, and this is the video I'm talking about. This is, I'm, let's say, part Chinese number one. Side. I described well in this part what Americans have done to me with the British in Kidman Islands. Uh, this here is definitely worth to read about how it all happened with the Kidman Islands, basically when, when it all started, how Kidman Islands have a very quite low population, you know, it was very, very unpopulated till 1998 and then in 1998 uh, they started to populate one uh, rapidly they started to populate one so the population however they started to populate one from a mainland from the Taiwan mainland they started to to import people from Taiwan to as rapidly as possible the fast as possible populate the island especially because the cities around this island the chinese super cities that you see right there started to so rapidly grow so rapidly develop the three cities the three large cities in the area surrounding this island so they started to rapidly populate one and they started to populate one with people from taiwan so that the residents would feel more relieved and uh, with this uh, patriotic people wouldn't have to worry about it. At least, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you <laughs> about this is a Taiwan. Um, you're going to learn today a lot about, in this part number two, you're going to learn a lot about this part of the Asia and even Asia as a whole. For you, if you're a foreigner, God forbid you find yourself in a situation I have to know basically how to protect yourself from treachery which is on american soil from treachery which is in on a british soil and other western soils whatever is being used to screw you up uh in whichever way they will try to if you find yourself god forbid like i said ever in my situation i hope you don't Well, the lady that you see right there told me in 2018, we would not give up. Uh, maybe I jumped too much, too, too fast to this issue. I am going to come to this issue. Right, let's, let's save this issue for the last, for the best. Okay, let this be the last one. Every time I was hijacked to Kinman Islands, beginning like, it doesn't make sense for me to talk to you about 80s, when I was hijacked with the British royals there, when they would hijack me for their espionage, purposes um aka vacation yeah uh-huh uh every time basically yeah i think that these british royals travel to locations only when there is something they can do politically for somebody basically earn their interests like this that's how they vacation uh by cooking a turmoil wherever they go so I don't know. Me personally, whatever country I would be from around the world, I would not fucking welcome these people anywhere. Because exactly what I stated. Now, secondary, Kidman Islands became interesting just as I explained right here. In this video became really interesting in 2000 and 2002 2003 when i received more death threats on a chinese soil 
then at any given time, like literally from Chinese people, I would be delivered to Shenmen, Zhangzhou, and Guangzhou, and uh, I had no interest in it. But I was delivered, hijacked by American government, by American Central Agency, by British MI5, repeatedly hijacked from the United States, from Miami, where I lived, and uh, subjected over there to just as I described in, in a video to death threats for betraying China. I don't know exactly how this goes as far as betraying is I am from Slovenia with American citizenship also next to Slovenian. I don't know how this will be betraying China and so on and so forth. I could not catch up with this shit. Uh, the thing is that Americans did absolutely everything possible they could to give a China credentials to blacklist me at the United Nations together with the British. They dreamed about how they would get every country around the world credentials to distance itself without explanation, basically, on why. Uh, they wanted to list me as good as dead. Talking about USA and GB, greater than Great Britain. So I described this, how it went on in part number one, Taiwan Kinman Islands report on how, and I'm going to do now part two, I just give you a little refreshment so that you understand. Uh, watch this video to understand basically what went on, how, you know, First residents of Xianmen knew absolutely everything that went on. It felt like this shit went on for three years. They tried to intimidate me on Taiwan, in this Kinmen Islands, where the Taiwanese government would also hijack me. And I was video recorded live so that uh, Chinese watched me on a TV in Xiamen, they watched me on a TV, all the statements uh, Taiwanese and Americans obtained from me in respect to their sovereignty on Taiwan. Uh, then I was issued death threats and stuff, disappointed in me, and they told me, just wait, that residents from Zhangzhou find out, and then when the residents from Guangzhou find out, because we like you, but they don't even know you, they will want to kill you because they don't know you, and so on. Yeah, so this I'm gonna say thank you very much to the government of Taiwan for it. That's why I'm gonna also tell you today the world will be better off without Taiwan as whole. Not it's not about what Kinmen Islands only for which now I can use the opportunity. This lady here, Chang Wen, suggested me, well, you know, rather than give the whole Taiwan to China, we came to terms that we will surrender Kinmen Islands. So you could say, based on my observation, I could say that this lady is completely in bed with who knows whom? Who knows how many people in Taiwan think exactly the same way? Uh, who knows how many people in Gaza feel in the same way as those terrorists that started the war on Israel with the idea to smash entire Gaza to what we witnessed today have taken place? So that's why I said world will be better off without the Taiwan as whole and just allowing Taiwan to give away these islands here known as Hinman Islands. One look at this stuff here. 
and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to, I'm going to reiterate again. I'm going to say to you, the world would be better off without the Taiwan than with Taiwan, because it's so evident that the leadership is so poisonous, so toxic, so insane, so crazy, so angry, and such a big threat to humanity, whichever way you look at. Uh, you can see when you ask how far is Taiwan located from China, and it gives you the distance of 2,100 kilometers. Something based on MK Ultra. When I interacted with Joe Biden, Joe Biden personally have stated me, how far is Taiwan from China? Joe Biden personally stated me that they don't like China. And that's why we exclusively allow them to post the stuff like this. Well, you know, excuse me, but this is a misinformation for one thing. And the second thing, you poisoned me. You try to intoxicate me to, with the hatred, with the hatred issues that I should really not have anything to do with. And what basically was even used to get me killed next to all those other issues, as I have proven for your politicians so that I have to say to you that when I consider stuff like this really really schizophrenic shit what the fuck is this 2,100 kilometers you're not you're not this distance 2,100 kilometers from China you are distanced from China exactly 130 kilometers and the island that came to question here The Kinmen Islands are located on Chinese soil. They are, they are part of China, basically. Don't fucking tell me they are separated by the waterway. Because China is a nuclear superpower just as United States of America is. Some people even claim is just as strong as United States. So this is a Taiwan here that you see. This is Taiwan. Yeah. And this is here, this all this here is China. But there is this islands here that are located here, which is, to me, this is a Chinese soil. This is the same like a Hong Kong. And then you have these big cities here, Xianmen, Zhangzhou, and as I stated, Quanzhou, with 55,000 soldiers from Taiwan stationed on Kinmen Islands. And also what already became a permanent, I know 100% permanent destination of the US military beginning in 2012. These guys here, they, they, uh, they are, as a news mainstream media claims, this is a department of Green Berets, Green Berets from the USA. The man that you see right there, who would occasionally come whenever I was hijacked to this island, uh, talking about after, this started to get after 2004. After 2004, I noticed there would be American soldiers. Whenever I would go there, I would see American soldiers. They were, they were the American, it was American military. Clearly, I could see it was American military, 2004. I just did not notice, I did not know. Uh, soon after the incident in 2002-2003, year after already, it was already American soldiers that would start to examine the island. It's like as if incidents were used to deliver American military to these islands. You know, the incidents that I described here in this video here, 
that I well described in this document and in this video here uh, in 2002, 2003 have taken place. In 2004, you already have Americans walking back and forth, examining everything that whatever they were doing with Taiwan military installation. So it increased the presence, the American presence ever since increased beginning in 2004. Was it completely, completely permanent? I do not know. What I can tell you is any time I came, any given time I was delivered, and I was delivered frequently there, I've noticed American soldiers there on Kinman Islands, always. Beginning the 2012, it was, however, this man that would appear became like a permanent, uh, it would become like his systematic, it would become like a permanent base of his. Um, he at one point would stay, every time would stay longer and longer, three months, six months, whatever. Officially, however, he was assigned to, uh, this is a veteran that was everywhere and in Iraq and I don't know where. They had him everywhere, but he had like a permanent location, whatever location was, uh, officially. He is from Florida, I think, and he does have a wife, children. I don't know where from Florida. I was sure a little earlier that he was from northern Florida. It could be from Sarasota, however. Okay, that's not exactly north. That's about like something like middle, in the midst of the Florida. This is what I got. I don't know. I don't know. You know, northern Florida would be more like uh, this area here, Panama City, that kind of stuff. Tallahassee or something like this. And so, I don't know. I think like Sarasota area, Florida area, he's got kids, he's got beautiful blonde wife. This gringo here, this Americano, uh, told me in 2012 that if uh, Taiwanese would know that they are there permanently, they uh, they would get in trouble. They would get in a lot, a lot of trouble. That's was I was always delivered by the Joe Biden. And uh, this kind of stuff did not end interactions with him. I was I continued to challenge these people on, on almost every occasion and asked them if they're not afraid that Chinese are going to see them. Because of this issue. And what makes this? Yes, you're going to watch this part number one. I asked them if they're not afraid because he claimed it was a secret. I was, I keep asking, I said, aren't you afraid that Chinese are going to see you? And I was actually really looking if I could see somewhere uh, China, if the Chinese can see me and photograph me and so on and so forth. Well, the answer, my friends, is not blown in the wind. The Chinese government completely was aware of it. The proof that they were aware of it is here and it is posed. So therefore, under a little further, closer analysis that I do, I can confirm that The politicians that I demonstrated you earlier, this one here, this politician that I demonstrated you earlier, I wouldn't say that she is a spy for China. Uh, it would be impossible for me to say that, uh, but she definitely was in agreement with the Chinese for a takeover of the Kinmen Islands. In this video, to prevent the people that would potentially be exposed to death, uh, to assault. Very, very interesting is also to state something else. Uh, this man went on to suggest me that he first suggested, he, first, he was first presented to me by Joe Biden as uh, somebody who evaluated the area, somebody who evaluated, contemplating like on a fort, like on a defense of these islands, 
make them completely impenetrable. So as a military expert, that he would go out there and evaluate absolutely everything on how to defend, what kind of strategy to take to defend. Claim that these islands, Kinman Islands, are totally, totally impenetrable. Nobody can, there's no way to get through. And he made completely fucked up statements which affected even the safety of the cities nearby, like such as Xianmen and Zhangzhou and Quanzhou, suggesting that not only would they get Air Force support when they would call for one, but these are the cities that could be taken out if necessary. There would be like civilian casualties like of way too many. They would not pay off the Chinese absolutely in any way to do this. Later on, however, at the later stage, these things changed and got a completely different echo. And well, he demanded basically from me to take to China because this is what I was used. I was used to indirectly communicate to bully Chinese government. I think the governing fraction in China were using me to intimidate others to present Chinese people with a issue of nuclear threat, nuclear danger, so that the transaction would go through. This real estate brokerage deal would go through simply as this. Uh, he suggested other, you know, when you, when you imagine that you are on, you're just a few miles from here and you, you get the video, audio recording, video recording, seeing stuff like this and you listen to stuff like this. I mean, that would make you as a resident of the China safe? Not really. I mean, Americans had a problem with the Cuban crisis, nuclear missile station on Cuba. Now, imagine about this shit here. What is the difference between this? Not very much, except that there is a whole lot we don't know about. He then changed the, this claims into the claims that he is actually there to make sure there would not be unnecessary fatalities, dead people. So there would not be dead people, there would be innocent people, the soldiers, including the Taiwan especially, they would not die unnecessary. So he completely changed his view that was preliminary into something totally different when I was again delivered to him. But he started to get permanently stationed there beginning in 2012 with a total full knowledge of the Chinese government that I guarantee you, 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, when I was asking him if he's not afraid that they would see us, they would see him and so on, he was nothing disturbed about it. Yeah, well, you know, today from the satellites, they can take a little beautiful photo of you like you will not fucking believe when you're working right out in the garden, whatever the fuck you do. That's what these satellites are used for. You know, and the cameras and everything that that's and even better is when you have a video recorder and probably a camera man next to you video recording you so that and probably using I don't know, maybe like a Starlink, whatever, to deliver news to the Chinese so they can watch real time the stuff that goes on over there with me. I'm not paranoid. This is a fucked up country, this United States of America. This is a fucking rotten country. It's a fucking worm. I'm not fucked up. This, this country is fucked up. You swear allegiance to the bullshit. You swear allegiance to the bullshit. You fuck, fucking fuck country, motherfucker. A country like this, eh? You don't understand what the fuck I have gone through with these politicians such as Donald Trump and Joe Biden. You don't fucking understand and you would see yourself in me. You would go to White House and you fucking put this motherfucker out of the skin today, not tomorrow. You would fucking strip him of the fucking skin. If you would understand what the fuck this guy did to me together with Donald Trump with these politicians. You don't fucking see the situation much different than what, what you think the situation. You try to see something. Basically, I don't like the fucks like this. I don't like traitors because I wasn't traitor. Whatever the fuck I went, 
I tried my best to be same as the people from there. It's not a human being. People like Biden, like Trump, it's not it's a human shit. So he wasn't worried about any of that stuff. I was worried about because what went on. And so he's, he started to insist me that he is there to prevent fatalities. Unnecessary victims. They're going to fall prey to, you know, patriotism and so on. They won't be capable to defend themselves from Chinese in absolutely any way. This is basically what went on with some Taiwan guys that started to suggest me an exactly, exactly same shit, exactly identical to Gaza situation. The Hamas, Israelis, where they participated in MKO for certain people, the same way they started to suggest on how they will surrender this and that, but we will not. It was some guy that 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 he would uh, give the resistance, they would give the resistance, and they would fight to the bitter end, and I don't know what that kind of stuff. So, I mean, fabricated Western mainstream media, the, what I refer to as a call as a vacuum world of lies and dementia, have brainwashed us over and over and over again on how the Chinese are about to assault Taiwan at any time, that they surround and provocate, and I don't know what, that they're doing, you know, all kinds of stuff. And I'm not even saying that they're not. They have not. They didn't have military drills for no reason. They did. They did try to send certain messages and so on. Now, these messages toned down. But, you know, that kind of hype and that kind of stuff is completely contrary to this message here. Basically, uh, American military sending green berets to, to Kinmen Islands. Basically, on a Chinese soil, like it's the same shit like you would send military to Hong Kong. You send military to Hong Kong? What the fuck are you going to send the military to Hong Kong? You're going to, like, what, what, what do you, what, why would you do this for? Hong Kong is already under China now, but this is completely different. It would be the same, identical as if you would send military to Hong Kong. So, I mean, you don't have to be literate to know. In this case, that one plus one adds to number two. And it's just a matter of time when you will get this kind of response, probably within the 14 days less, you will have invasion on Kinmen Islands. And so I this video, so hopefully that there will be people not sacrificed for the bullshit cause. That should have been already long, long, long ago negotiated by the Taiwanese government with the Chinese and instead turned into, uh, I'm going to say probably into more neutral land, I'm going to say, without probably, I would say, even any kind of military presence into like neutral land territory where you would only have coast guards basically saving people's lives making sure that you know you have that national integrity something like a ukraine had on crimea prior to the russian invasion basically just ensuring a peaceful tranquil life under the taiwanese sovereignty or something like this with a with a coast guards rather than you know what we witness is taking place basically to to trigger a response from China, which is going to be totally justified, really, in front of the United Nations this time. Yeah, so uh, this video basically to, I hope, people in Taiwan that are watching this, uh, I don't know how much you can change the course of this stuff. If you have any relatives or whatever serving in Kinmen Islands or whatever the case might be, maybe you can still do something about it. Uh, appeal.
find out about this stuff, ask maybe in U.S. government answers from Joe Biden in respect to this issue. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you can fucking hang one in a New York square if you do like that. I'm going to be missing him in any way. He's the same like Donald Trump. This is the, there is no difference between these two. And also to warn governments such as the government of Japan, and specifically here I have in my mind Japanese royals who had a guts, they have an audacity, they have a they dared actually to insult me with something together with the royals from Thailand. They had a guts, they had audacity to suggest me. Uh, that no country whatsoever would recognize my case even if I would touch the issue of Kinmen Islands and suggest that those should be annexed uh, to China and that I should try to justify in any way uh, Chinese invasion on even Kinmen Islands. For which, again, I'm going to say that Taiwan... The president did you see right there, right? The she's of the schizophrenic that is sickening the world basically with this kind of issues. Really, she should be on a fucking psychiatric pills. You know why do you guys eat psychiatric pills? Because she doesn't have to. That's your fucking answer. You people have to eat psychiatric pills instead of her. Although with the people like this, what I would do personally, I'd do fucking hang them on a tree. I wouldn't waste no fucking time on a psychiatric pills on a shit like this. If there is uh, something in Thailandese government that is nothing that's worth to fight for. I am not saying that you should not fight for Thailand but I will say that you will never justify crime against me. Absolutely, Kinmen Islands are risk for the international peace, for the international treaties. Obviously, because of the government corruption, they have created issues uh, that are endangering the global security, peace, treaties and could potentially expand into a totally another level. With the, Thailand, with the Taiwan giving us world example that is not even worth to fight for our countries, giving us an example that the sovereignty is something to fuck around with, that uh, corruption within the government is possible, uh, acceptable, that things like this happen, I'm going to say the world will be, in fact, even better off without Thailand as country as whole. Well. I'm going to go further from these threats that I receive from the Japanese royals and from the Thailand royals. And I'm going to, I'm going to state to you that the country like this is endangering the global security peace treat is absolutely everything and more than anything the spirit of the people from other sovereign countries especially those are from small countries and are rather setting up a bad example for all and national sovereignty, sovereignty this is something you don't fuck with you don't play with this is not to negotiate with and the countries the people that do the world must acknowledge as such is more as a threat to the rest of the countries that are sovereign. Now I'm going to, instead of backing down, I'm going to expand my claim and I say that Taiwan as whole is a trouble, is a danger to the world, is a threat, as is this. I lost 52 years of life because of this. And the Kinman Islands were even going to be used as a transaction for the Japanese royals, for the Thailandese royals, for all the crime, for everything they did 
to push the claim against me, such as, well, look at what uh, he sided with the China and this and that and so on. He actually incited in the war and stuff, you know. Fuck you. First of all, you guys are no fucking royals. You are fucking scumbags. You are fucking scammers. You're no fucking royal. There's nothing royal about you. You are scumbags. You are swindlers, the same like any swindler that I know of. I don't on the internet, like in real life, whatever. Scammers. This is not what is about dignity and ethics and so on. You, you, don't, you, you know, you make this world ugly, just as I stated for the British royals. You're a disgrace. I wouldn't fucking watch you if I were from Japan or Thailand. I won't fucking have you for fucking half an hour anymore on a fucking TV, on a fucking media, on the news. I won't fucking keep you around for five minutes. I wouldn't fucking have you. Fuck you. And if you don't know how to, what to do with your sovereignty, with your things, and then basically, yes, then what you do is you do whatever, whatever you want to do. But just make sure that we're not going to have war, a nuclear war. And really, when it comes to democracy, China did something for humanity as whole. China does something for humanity. Wherever you are located and around the globe, you guys aren't fucking doing anything. What you guys are doing over there is you're practicing schizophrenia, torture, killing people. Basically, your sovereignty in Taiwan is being used, in my case, to deliver me over there for torture, for killing. And in the end, even that threatened me with issues what the fuck i supposed to have with the issues like this here from slovenia that i am with this kind of stuff aren't you fucking ashamed to do stuff like this now there will be apparently people that will die for it they will have to give their lives my you fucking crazy if you're gonna give a life for the stuff like this if you that she's gonna be fucking grateful to you she's smiling over there she's gonna fucking laugh even more so you want to go? You want to give your life for Joe Biden, for Donald Trump? You want to do? You want to go for this shit? And the fish is going to be happy. They will be, they will be happy clowns. They will be really grateful to you. They are actually looking for the people that want to sign up and die like this. And for me, this crap, I don't have anything else I would say. Um, this is quite incredible. The real reason for what we see is taking place is this here. There are big economic problems, all kinds of issues, turmoil around the world with a workforce, excessive workforce. And rather than resolve this industrial, I'm going to say post-industrial, industrial revolution, robotized revolution, some refer to as artificial intelligence, partially it is. But it's really about industrialized, industrialized industry we're dealing with. Post-industrial, industrialized, even more industrialized industry is what we are talking about. You're going to have about 80% of the people employed in production and manufacturing as a waste, as no longer necessary. We are trying to resolve these issues, you know, like through the soccer game. You're going to be picking up the faces, you're going to be picking up the issues and mental sickness. If there is anything that these people present other than mental illness, mental sickness, I don't know. You're talking about the trillions and I don't know what. At the same time, they have, in Britain alone, they have 15 million unemployed. Actually, 15 million people living in the poverty. In the United States, I don't even, I think the number is 50 million people. Talking about the trillions dollars saved, trillion here, billion here, signing off this, signing off that. And uh, the truth is, they don't even know what the fuck they're going to do with excessive workforce other than to put them under the bridge, basically, 
um, get rid of them, send them in the wars, send them basically to die. If you like privatize, huh? Maybe privatize. You like the privatize? When you all privatize you. Send this bastard somewhere for what they will not even know what the fuck they die for. Yes, people, the time came that uh, things that are taking place are not okay. The governments have free hands too much, are not taking care well being of the people. And uh, they are doing this stuff in a, such a disgusting way, charging for the production, for the manufacturing, for the cars, for the merchandise, so mercilessly that it's incredible, ripping off people. That are simply decimated in today's world through the selection Call it whichever way you like, for every system is different. And without having available any tomorrow, and then being basically surprised about why the fuck something is taking place, when it's so, so fucking evident, the whole thing is designed basically to resolve itself, or rather through then economic trades and agreements and helping one another, as China does, which is interested in a global trade, in, in, in assistance, in work, in helping one another. They try to resolve this shit through the wars. So I would say to Chinese government on this issue here to be really careful. I don't trust this stuff. But you can absolutely not go wrong if you demand this islands to yourself through United Nations and seek the resolution that will actually confirm a legal transfer of your land, of your property, of your Hong Kong number two to yourself, back to you, in your hands. If you're going to do something about it, do it the legal way. It will be better, it will be safer for you because of the issues that I... Safer for the world, basically, because of the issues that I suggested. This is, you know, tch. Joe Biden was using me. Joe Biden was, it was not um, the stuff that I described to you that went on. This is not, those are not isolated incidents. When I mentioned to you about the possibility, if necessary, even annihilating the cities in the area. But Joe Biden had me sail with the cruisers, with the ships through this strait, um, for which he would suggest that I am on a ship now, on a kind of ship that can destroy the whole China and stuff like that. And asking me if I know where I am and this and that, knowing basically that they would pick the signal or whatever it was, because it, this shit was always indirect. They would get recordings, other governments, they would exchange this stuff with one another. So this was like, a, Chinese could not write about this case. They could not say that the United States of America are threatening to us, is posing a threat to us. They, they issued us a nuclear threats and so on. But, you know, these are very, very severe threats. I mean, if you do, if you pose with somebody like myself here and this straight here of the Taiwan and you have the ship cruisers going, passing through and so on, as they did, uh, and you do the shit like this, you do the stuff like you, you really, really harass, you really, really bully people. If you don't have the agreement or whatever it is you're, you're up to, this is really fucked up. That's why I say that caution is never too much, but the world definitely would be a better place without Taiwanese presence on these islands. This type of politicians that Taiwan has, uh, Total uncountability, corruption to this degree is just unpermissible. And it affects other nations around the world in the worst way possible. It's the worst impression. It's actually even suggesting 
a complete for disintegration of many other nations and uh, all kinds of possibilities and so on. It's a crap. It's a crap. I will definitely, this is my testimony. I, I don't even have to testify anyway. This can be used in the United Nations. It can be used in whatever organization. The, the testimony that I give you is factual. It's actual. It is. Nobody can fucking say more about what I stated in any way that it's not whatever. It's not. It, it's it's uh, whatever. There's nothing fucking doubtful about it because I described the whole thing exactly as it was. It's not about this politician only, but it's all about the fucking politicians. If you have a government like this, what the fuck is it good for? I mean, for this shit here, for this schizophrenic stuff here? You want to fucking teach people this here, this kind of logic? Is this the fucking logic you want to teach people? You want to go and fucking teach people about this, this to 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 what to 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 see themselves in a schizophrenia or what? <laughs> Joe Biden stated, "Well, you know, we allow we we allow them. You know, we agree. And we, you know, he stated to me what this in 2014. He stated to me. So this shit, shit that you see right there, this must have been ready for a very long time. If I would see this stuff, this Kinman Islands." If I would smell this earlier, so I mean the Google. When it comes to Google, you know, this is a regulated by United States of America government <laughs> internet, if you like, search engine, the one that is a professor, a teacher, that provides for you all the fucking answers to the questions, like a total schizophrenia, like a fucking MK Ultra, exactly MK Ultra. You don't even have to ask the fucking question. The fucking psychiatrist already answered your questions. All your fucking questions here. Questions you don't even have. Yeah, Is that all right? So you see right there, roughly about 100 miles in reality is distance from, from the Chinese mainland. From the giant city such as such. So I yeah I I completely agree that that you do this stuff that you you know is just is this is this like the way that you want to choose do you want to have actually a military conflict and people die actually in 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 a battle with something that they will definitely not win yes it is because killing the best is the job of the traitors basically isn't it. But you, know, you have to get the people that are, you know, that are willing to die, basically, for the homeland, for the country, right? So you fuck them, right? Let them fucking die, right? Yeah, systematic takedown, what other than that? Better off for Taiwan would be a nation as whole in hands of their motherland, just as, and just exactly as this is here, she's the president of Republic of China. You know what I mean? I mean, if you, you know, for the world, it would be a world would be a healthier place, less, less, much less schizophrenic. It would be a healthier place. Please go to, go to China, please. Stop making world sick. All right, you sicken me enormously. And it was because of you, the people of Taiwan, that I was even labeled as a paranoid schizophrenic in 2012. Please, fuck you. Go off the map and become already part of the China. You don't understand what kind of problems as a nation, as a country as a whole, you're fucking presenting. Such a risk, actually, the risk of the nuclear war for the world, for the world. For the nations that are sovereign are actually even taking side part to get stepped personally by you from behind. Anybody is a sucker that gives a fucking dime about you, about what you have to say, about the way you present.
here is the date and time. I'm going to put you date and time. So within, I think, within like 14 days, we should get the response in respect to Taiwanese national integrity concerning Kinmen Islands. I think it was something like this they stated. So I'm going to help you out with this. I, I will try to do my best. Still, I would say that the best thing would be for the Chinese to uh, submit the request for this issue through uh, literally through United Nations. Because you, you know, you say that, that you don't have a military presence, and I know 100% there were people who served there already since 2012. You're talking about the American military, and American military ante up. It's a word ante up. It's military present beginning in 2004 the american preparation for the war with china and kinman islands went into the fifth gear so man it's kind of strange and suspicious because it was a whole a lot of time that americans have spent preparing themselves for the war with china and kinman islands it's kind of a strange so there is not uh, you know the caution here is not um is not too much to ask for, but at the same time, you know, you should have the world a knowledge, basically, fact, that Taiwan is presenting a, a, a threat to the world, as it is, that is presenting a nuclear threat. Let's never forget the Cuban crisis uh, and much, much greater threat than what the Cuban crisis were to United States of America is what Taiwan uh, presents to China, indeed. As it is, is what, what it is, if the Japanese and Thailandese believe that I will take some fucking side and support the politics like this, you're fucking wrong. And I hope the world will turn back to you too. Because this kind of stuff like this, this kind of partnership like this, you're going to get a symmetric response from other nations. You're going to fucking start to see you in a very different light, basically. For, I'm going to say, 10 to 0 for China in this game. You're, you guys are totally, totally losing credibility in front of the world. You are so rapidly losing credibility in front of the world. It's unbelievable, like a fucking snowman. With what is taken in Europe, in Ukraine, uh, and especially what have taken place in Gaza, where Americans did something really disgusting with their presence, with their military uh, ships over there, uh, in support of genocide against Gazan people, extermination of the Gazan people, and in the support of widening the conflict unto the Egypt. All the eagerness to have stolen from Egypt by Israel through another conflict. Sinai Peninsula. Uh, whoa, whoa, this is just this is just unbelievable. Hey, by the way, guys, how is the Ukraine doing? Are you going to be capable to to defend that one? Is this, how is that coming through? I am not watching the situation in Ukraine. I just watched that. Like randomly from the distance, I'm really, but I'm really curious how you're gonna, you're gonna even manage to save that. I mean, because the Ukraine became really a bitch of America. They used Ukraine, they disarmed one, took all the nuclear weapons, and shipped them to the Russia. Uh, they totally, totally disarmed one, uh, with literally with the promises on how they're going to help one and support one and i don't know what and now it was just once the nuclear weapons were gone the country was listed as good as dead so this is this is like a comedy man this is like a totally totally hilarious stuff we watch so. i don't go i don't go for any kind of stuff like this i don't buy this kind of stuff and i'm going to say to anybody that is that loves this country that has got a patriotic feeling toward this country don't fucking go and die for this shit for the politicians like this you know don't do that don't do that kind of stuff i mean it's already too many people died too many people dead basically for the stuff like this and 
all in all when you do the stuff like this you know you are just really doing nothing other than solving american problems basically like I have described right here. You're, so, you're solving the problems of the colonialists. You know? You're solving the problems of the colonialists. You're, you're solving the problems of, of Americans and British who reject the very core idea about the ability to sue the government of the United States of America. You support the scum that rejects the ability to sue government of Great Britain. You reject the idea, basically, of people that are willing to sue, that are willing to fight against the government, that are willing to take the government to the court and take the shit out of it. I should say, beat the shit out of it. Or having the right to do so. You get me? You understand me? You, the people of this world, are fighting the wrong war. The United States of America is already past what the United States of America is traveling around about the Soviet Union. This country, the United States of America, is not even a police officer of the world anymore. It's already past Soviet Union. The stuff that is so unethical, so criminal, so bizarre, not against only foreign population, but also domestic people, is beyond criminal, is beyond insane. And I'm going to say to you, thanks for watching this video. Have a happy elections of 2024, where you get to choose between two different faces, same person. When we get to choose between the politicians, rather than us, rather than what law, rather than what the Constitution, rather than what Bill of Rights presents, we all lose, as you know. The same as I suggest for the people of Africa, once you start to see yourself in Russian troops stationed in your area or American troops stationed in your area to protect yourself whether from American or from the Russian troops once you start to see in it rather than to see yourself in yourself then you are in the same situation sooner than not like the one is in Syria and that's what makes the return of what I suggested here. It's called colonialism. That's when you're gonna, before you know, you're gonna start, you're gonna lose your national sovereignties. And you're also gonna lose, talking to American people, to British, all your rights, constitution, bill of rights, whatever the fuck you have, whatever covers you, whatever should cover you, but it doesn't cover you, but you still have a capacity to fight, still gives you the right, soon it's not going to be anything to fight for anymore. We are heading to the World War III with this.